Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, I had saved the game. You have once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. And our first order of business is to read the Secretary's Diary A. April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th. I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. Well, the chief certainly sounds like a colorful character, now doesn't he? Let's hope we never meet him. And our next order of business is to explore the last few bits of this floor. After that, there is the room with the big horde of zombies that I ignored last time. And that spot on the third floor we access from the library. That's not the right menu. Zombie's dead, right? Doesn't look dead. Oh well. We're gonna leave Mr. Flaming Zombie there because I have a feeling he disappears once we put out that fire. And now we get to see some old friends, the crows. Peck this guy to death so I can take his ammo. Now we're just gonna run, 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 don't stop running. Whew. Okay. We made it outside, where it looks like a helicopter has crashed into the building. That's not a good thing. So we're gonna take this path. Whoa, hello zombies. You know what? You're kind of, uh, here we go. Yeah, just like that. No need to fight when you don't have to. And we're only gonna be coming here once. What is this? Whatever it is, it's not very useful. Alright, over here we have the official bow gun. As you can see, it holds 18 rounds instead of the 15 that we got because uh, Kendo fired off one when the zombies bit him. We also get a valve handle, which we'll be using in a moment, and an ink ribbon. The final thing to do here is check this door. Oh, it's open. Wonder where this Whoa, zombies. Oh no, run away. They're so scary and frightening and dangerous. Oh no, fumble with the door, fumble with the door, fumble with the door. Ooh, got out just in time. Oh, are these two going to cause me ire? Yes. Oh no, Claire. You bit your tummy from your neck. It must hurt. It's okay, we'll take care of that in a moment. First thing to do is read this warning. A water pressure valve. It reads, excessive pressure may rupture the water tank. That sounds like something I would want to do. Turn, turn, turn the valve. Mm. 
Something that always struck me as strange was how it popped you back into the item menu there, but it kind of makes sense. It's got to remove the valve and put it back in your inventory and... Yeah. Steal handgun bullets from the helicopter. Helicopter must have a pretty small gun on it. Okay, before we fight the crows again, and by fight I mean run away from, I want to be at max speed. And go. Run faster! They'll never catch me now. Ah, Mr. Flaming Zombie is gone. How about that? Helicopter screamed at me? Or... No, it must have come from beyond the broken door. Take out the wall? Like, with an explosion? Like with, say, uh, some C4 that was confiscated? Hmm. I'm liking the sound of this. Oh, what's this? Okay. It's so dusty she can't even see what it is. And, ooh. Oh, I see a shiny. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, excuse me. About the size of a fist, you say? There's two of them. An armored stone statue. I wouldn't necessarily call what he does reviving, but we'll come back to that later. Mainly because uh, I'm missing one of the items I need. So you know what? Let's get that right now. I can think of a fairly quick route to get there. But of course, first we must empty the inventory. I think we're going to keep the bow gun. Actually, no, I changed my mind on that because... No. <laughs> because I want a green herb. Here we go. Might as well investigate this key just to see. It's in the shape of a diamond. Never would have guessed. Uh, did I leave a zombie alive here? Or was he just knocked down? I guess he must have been knocked down, because I think if you leave the room and they're on the floor, they just get despawned. Unless they're placed there intentionally. That one zombie who I had to uh, soccer kick. Thinking, 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 thinking. My brain is not function. Wonderful sound of no liquors. Just stick our face to this wall to keep from getting grabbed. Just getting grabbed is rather unpleasant. Okay, remember that whole thing where the picture wanted us to uh, start up some hellfire? Finally have the tool to do that. That heats the gem, which burns through the painting. Don't touch it, Claire, it's still hot. Nah, I'm just kidding. Besides, she's wearing gloves. And with that... Oh, I wish I had a beber, a beber memory, or even a better memory of how this place is laid out. I think I'm just going to take the same route I took to get here. A speed run this is not.
No. I'm also trying to think of where the diamond doors are. Well, once we solve that puzzle, we're going to head into the swarm hallway. Um, I think a grenade launcher will be the best thing to use there. And I'm not sure if there's a diamond door behind it. We'll find out. We need to investigate it anyway, so it won't be lost time. Shouldn't need the lighter again for a little while. Do 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 do. Wait a minute. Oh, I completely forgot to check these. It's about the size of a fist, and it's called the Virgin Heart. So I guess we have to stick it in these nice ladies' chests. I revived by opening up my chest plate that would be kind of strange. So yeah, we get a uh, piece of a blue stone. Let's check this out. Half of an animal. But which animal? Guess we'll find out when we get the other half. So in total, we need four stones, four completed stones. So that's five things to pick up, because there's only one that's broken. And then... Well, we'll see when we come to that. Things get pretty messed up, I can tell you that much. Uh, yeah. No. No, no, no. We also need Explody Man. Sir Explosion. I love this ladder so much. It's like the most useful thing ever. Alright, next time on Resident Evil 2, we'll break through this door and take on the swarm. See you then.